Hello, dear friends. If you were in a leadership position in a country and you knew what you know now, what would you do differently? How would you communicate with people? Kesharash asks. Opinion piece. New plan. Quantum threat. Digital doomsday. Post-quantum future. Cryptocurrency crash. Technological transition. Global financial collapse. Let's start. A plan is a model of public action that is drawn up in advance, and the system is a set of rules of principles linked together rationally. The global financial system is the global framework of legal agreements, institutions, and economic agents that facilitate international capital flows from investment and trade financing purposes. According to a message from Galactic Commander Valiant Thor and JFK, President Trump has announced that the QFS quantum financial system is activated and that he's awaiting confirmation from the Treasury in Reno that the new gold-backed banknote is active. He adds that the coalition has arrested some 900 bankers due to their attempt to prevent a global financial reset. With the activation of the reset, the globalists would lose control of the global financial system, which they have held since 1871, and more completely since 1930. He adds that on Sunday, August 25, 2024, all banks account were backed by gold in the QFS within secondary banking, signaling the end of the central banking system that perpetuated global debt slavery. The QFS operates independently of the central banking system, preventing evil use of funds and denying bankers access to individual accounts. A rumor has it that major banks would be insolvent as they were taken over by the coalition. Quantum technology continued to develop in 2024, with Google announcing its Willow chip, which performed the calculation in less than five minutes than the fastest supercomputer would have taken 10 septillion years to accomplish. While Google's feat was not exactly a watershed moment for quantum, as other companies are doing similar things. We can expect 2025 to see the rise of quantum cryptography. Problems. As banks adapt to QFS, they will adapt to serve only customers with the system ensuring that each QFS account is owned solely by the owner of said account not by banks or the government. This transition prepares for a global financial collapse expected soon. Despite the media blackout, reports indicate a global liquidity and credit crisis, with supply outages affecting Western banks and online payment systems. Many customers have been turned away in Australia when trying to withdraw cash while bank runs are being discussed on social media. The stock market is expected to fall by 20% with further declines totaling 85-96% to possible. Tether and other stable coins could fail, causing cryptocurrency crash. Bitcoin servers could be shut down with 99.5% of cryptocurrencies shifting to Chinese currencies. High-risk ash funds are also likely to collapse, and banks' critical margin level could fail, leaving the Fed holding an empty bag. JP Morgan CEO Yami Dimon says, in quotes, Bitcoin has no intrinsic value. It's widely used by sex traffickers, money launderers, and ransomware. Dollar insolvency dominates international headlines as gold and silver rise. Treasury bonds will be dumped, sending interest rates skyrocketing. This catastrophe dates back to the 1871 law that handed control of taxpayer money 
to the bankers, leading to the creation of the Fed in 1913 and economic control by the Federal Reserve Bank, which is a private corporation. Over the decades, the cabal has plunged the well into debt, spending taxpayer money on their own agenda. Post-quantum future. The post-quantum future will require highly secure financial systems. Quantum cryptography, such as quantum key distribution, could be applied in the QFS to provide unprecedented security in financial transactions. The QFS will need to incorporate something of post-quantum cryptography rhythms to protect against potential attacks from quantum computers in future. It's possible that the QFS will take a hybrid approach, combining quantum and post-quantum cryptography techniques to maximize security and efficiency. As new standards for post-quantum cryptography are developed, the QFS will have to adapt and apply these new algorithms to maintain its security and compatibility. The QFS could become part of a broader transition to a quantum internet, where the security of financial communications and transactions is based on quantum principles. Quantum threat. The quantum threat refers to building a quantum computer powerful enough to break counter current public encryption systems. This could put the security of our online conversations, bank accounts, and the critical infrastructure at risk, causing problems for government and for governments and businesses in plural. The quantum threat is when a quantum computer is built so powerful that it could break the public encryption system that protect our bank account and most vital infrastructure, waiting havoc on governments and businesses. Quantum cryptography, sometimes called post-quantum cryptography, is therefore seen as the answer to avoiding this digital doomsday. The, to counter this threat, quantum or post-quantum cryptography is being developed. This new form of cryptography seeks to create security systems that are resistant to attacks by quantum computers. Although the quantum threat is not yet an immediate reality, governments, companies and cyber security experts are actively working to prepare for a post-quantum future. Economy Wall Street rises sharply after inflation data and banking results. The strength of the dollar threatens to hit the big engine of Wall Street. The number of countries boycotting the dollar already exceeds that of its supporters. Bitcoin exceeds the $100,000 level. China would be considering the sale of TikTok to Elon Musk. The Securities and Exchange Commission sues Musk for securities fraud in the patches of Twitter. Russia is willing to support Vietnam's accession to the BRICS as a partner country. Bankruptcies in Japan rise to the highest level in the last 11 years. Uranium breaks price records amid supply shortages and anti-Russian sanctions. USA An Arctic blast will bring the lowest temperatures of the year to the US. Denmark's PM defends Greenland's sovereignty to Trump in deciding its independence. The House of Representatives approves banning trans athletes from competing in women's sports. New anti-Russian sanctions show Trump will face a crisis. Marco Rubio asked Ukraine and Russia to make concessions to end the war, while he was firm against Cuba, the Mexican drug cartels and China's claims in Taiwan. Lifting sanctions against Russia could be part of talks on Ukraine, Rubio says. Santiago Pascal will attend Donald Trump's inauguration. Von der Leyen has not received an invitation to attend Donald Trump's inauguration. From Baptist churches to Buddhist temples, religious groups are volunteering to help victims of the fires. Middle East, Houthis claim sixth attack on aircraft carrier in Red Sea. Israel and Hamas agreed to cease fire in Gaza 
and release of hostages. Erdogan declares that Israel must withdraw from Syria or it will be worse for everyone, in quotes. Spain will support the Lebanese armed forces with 10 million euros. Former South Korea president arrested after a long siege of his residence. Europe. Europeans fear second Trump presidency. Euro improves despite Trump's tariff threats. European stock markets record their best session in five months following the inflation data. Europe breaks record for liquefied natural gas purchases from Russia in 2024. Germany completes two years in recession after 0.2% GDP drop in 2024. Russia reaffirms its aim to supply natural gas to the, U to the European Union. Russia will supply gas to Transnistria, but not to the rest of Moldova. Poland insists that Europe disengage from Russia and increase defense spending. Hungary foresees a rise in fuel prices due to US sanctions. British industry expects a new blow due to Trump's tariffs. The BRICS open the door to Serbia and share common values. Spain Great judicial re rejection to limit the popular accusation. The IBEX gains momentum with the US CPI and touches 11,900 points. The, tourist, the tourism sector has its, its best year ever with 94 million visitors. The price of rent rose by 14% in 2024. Rents will rise by 2.28% in the new reference index if the new reference index is applied. Inflation rises to 2.8% mm, in December due to full and tourist packages. The hydrogen fever is out of control with 650 projects from 206 companies. Spain becomes the big loser in Europe in the energy battle. Debt, the labor market and draft the main risks for Spain in 2025. Alert in 12 regions for freezing cold temperatures of up to 10 degrees below zero. Frost will continue until next week and it will rain in the Mediterranean. Sanchez's incoherent message for Davos. The government seeks to attract, to attract investment while announcing another tax punishment for investors. Americas. A tunnel is found in Chihuahua that connects with the US. Shane Baum criticizes Trump's tariff threats. The disappearance of people increases by 60% in the Shebaum government. Military action against Mexican cuddles is an option for Trump. Amazon will invest $5 billion to create a digital region in Mexico. International tourism in Mexico increases and as adds revenues of to um, $238 million. Mexico will open 40,000 spaces for high school students. Mexican diplomats receive invitation to Trump's inauguration. US removes Cuba from the list of countries that promote terrorism. Cuba begins the release of prisoners after leaving the terrorism list. Emigration in Haiti triples in one year due to crime. President Bukele reiterates his defense of metal mining in El Salvador. Costa Rica confirms the arrival of Edmundo González this Thursday to the country. Venezuela reaches a production of almost 1 million barrels of oil per day. Venezuela orders to reduce the diplomatic representation of Holland, France and Italy. Maduro says 
he wants to conquer Puerto Rico by force or of weapons. Venezuela denounces an attack against its consulate in Portugal. Ecuador is experiencing a rapture in the constitutional order. The president of Ecuador confirms his attendance at Trump's inauguration. Heavy rains cause damage and flooding in Bolivia. Migratory tensions between Bolivia and Argentina. The heat wave put the Argentine electrical system at the edge of its capacity. The Argentine Ministry of Health cancels 1,400 contracts. Millet extinguishes the risk of hyperinflation in Argentina and the economy approaches the end of the exchange rate restrictions. Argentina sees relief in Vaca Muerta due to lack of dollars. Chilean oil company produces renewable fuel from waste for the first time. Lula signs a law that prohibits the use of cell phones in schools in Brazil. And that's all for today. Thanks a lot, dear friends.